Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of y'all's busy schedule to stop in and see what it is I'm up to. It is Tuesday the 20th of June 2023. Uh, 4, 4.15-ish or so in the afternoon. Uh, 28 degrees Celsius right now. Humidity is 74%. 83 degrees Fahrenheit. Feels like 95. Uh, it rained this morning, uh, up until, I think the rain stopped about 12.30. And then it's supposed to rain some more uh, this evening, and through tomorrow morning. Uh, and on and on. So, looking around, the, the guys came through to cut the grass, I guess. Yeah, they didn't do a very good job weeding it. That's why this crew is on its way out. Oh, they didn't even cut all the yards. Wow. So, anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um, they're over here locking up. I could talk to them, but I won't. I don't think that's the new group. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't really paid that much attention. Anyway, uh, thought I would come out and go to Goodwill, and then from there go to the other Goodwill, and then maybe go to Wawa. Get a sandwich. I don't know if they'll do a chopped sandwich for me. The new, the new craze is the chopped hoagie or the chopped sub. Where you take everything from your your sub and you chop it all up and put it back in the back in the sub roll. Uh, I don't know if I've said this before or not, but. We went to Delaware a few years ago, and while everybody was working on the, on all the guys are working on the uh, on the shanty, not including me. Uh, I went with all the girls, my mom and two daughters, my daughter-in-law, and all the kids and whatnot. We went to Chincoteague go see the horses etc and as we were leaving we stopped at this little deli gas station place for to get lunch and my mom was like I don't want a sandwich I want a salad and the girl behind the counter said well we don't do salads and the manager heard her and said oh yeah we do and she took all the stuff that my mom wanted in a sub sandwich, hoagie sandwich, chopped it all up, put it in a takeout bowl, and ended up, all the ladies got one of those. <laughs> uh, so, like I said, this was, oh, I don't know, four years ago? Something like that. So, I guess my mom was ahead of her time. And the craze is just, it, it's been blowing up here lately. And uh, for people like me with, with limited, t limited teeth, uh, that makes a lot of sense. So, apparently there's delis around New York and Philadelphia that will make it up that way for you. But I don't know that Wawa will do it. I'll ask. Of course, I'll probably just end up going with a cheesesteak because their cheesesteaks are pretty on point especially for the price so uh, I don't normally go this way because of all these bumps we 
kind of destroyed this road, putting all these speed bumps in. Speed bumps, speed table. I guess this is a speed table because it's like almost as wide as my truck is long. So it's not just a not just a bump. But that being said, you have to slow way down to go over them. And I guess, I mean, people were speeding down this road and there's, you know, very little you can do to, to actually control that unless you have a, a patrol car sitting out here and flagging people down and, you know, that'll work. That'll work for a while. And then people just gain right back up to, to driving too fast. Unfortunately, it's a thing, especially with today's cars. You know, this road was probably designed, well, the original road was probably designed back in the 50s. So cars weren't quite as fast at that point. there. We have a wheelchair. A small wheelchair. Uh, I just got rid of two. So. <laughs> uh, or I didn't. My daughter did when she came in and cleaned my yard. But anyway. So yeah, today's cars are not necessarily faster, although for the most part they are, but they accelerate easier, have a, have a nicer ride, so, you know, they just, you, you're not even really thinking, you know, the speed limit is 35 and you're doing 50. Well, you know, that's, that's enough to get a pretty major ticket. It's also enough to you know, inconvenience people and cause a lot of damage and yeah, etc. 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 So I dislike all these roads that they have trans transformed with these bumps. And it takes it took a 10 minute trip and made it 15 or so. Um, depending on the road. And it's just it's usually just easier to drive around it. Go to one of the main cross streets that don't have speed bumps and speed tables and speed humps. And anyway, avoid this nonsense. Sometimes, like today, it would have been inconvenient, super inconvenient, for me to go that way, up and around, to come all the way back to go to the one store that I want to go to, and then go back, you know, backtrack almost two miles. So, I'm saving five or six miles, probably. I guess it didn't take all that long for it to, at the, uh, Beach Boulevard, so it's what nine minutes. So it took a five minute trip and turned it into a nine minute trip. I gotta fly. <laughs> Go away, fly before you die. It kind of feels good being back home again, able to crawl into my cave, uh, watch YouTube or what have you, and I slept, the past two nights I slept really well. Um, it's just, the, the, mat the mattress is more comfortable for me, and of course I've got all my pillows, so. Nobody, nobody has enough pillows on her bed. 
and I've got like heavy pillows. Um, they're not the little lightweight, fluffy things that most people use. They've got some substance to them. I think I've got, what, six pillows all, all together on the bed? That way I can, I don't, you know, when I roll over, there's pillows on the other side of me. Because I sleep, I need to sleep with my legs separated because of my back. And then I don't sleep, I don't sleep on my back or on my front. I kind of sleep on my side because of my shoulders. So, yeah, it's just, you know, I've got a pillow under my arm, a pillow between my legs, another pillow tucked up under my head, and then I can roll over and have the uh, same kind of thing on the other, you know, when I roll over. <sighs> anyway. That was the other thing I was thinking about, Little Caesar's Pizza. They've got a thin crust pizza for $7.99. It's super thin. It's almost cracker style. I was thinking jalapenos and sausage on that. Uh, probably not today. We'll go ahead and end this one here. This is the first part of today's trip. Come out of Goodwill, I will start again on the way to the other Goodwill. So see y'all in a second. Alrighty then. It's warm out there. <laughs> Summer has definitely hit Florida. Oh. So, not a whole lot of stuff in there. And then I was asked to not video, which has never happened before for me. I didn't make a I didn't make a fuss about it. I could have, you know, asked talk to a manager or whatever. Uh, it was just some lady hanging up clothes. So, all right, whatever. And I did man, I did find a few things actually, and. Uh, Ended up getting a decent deal at the register, so win some, lose some, right? Uh, now we are off to the other Goodwill at the wrong time of day. We're going to be dealing with traffic and traffic lights and blah, all that stuff that I just absolutely adore. Probably won't make it all the way there before I go ahead and sign out because it's going to take probably a full 20 minutes to get to where I want to go. But, you know, it is what it is. So. Anyhow. I didn't really intend to buy anything today. I wasn't really looking, looking for anything. But a few things popped up that just seemed like a great deal. And then when I actually got to the register, it turned out to be an even better deal. So, you know, it just is what it is. And then, of course, watching where I'm going and whatnot. This was laying in the in the parking lot. Haven't te haven't tested it yet, but it doesn't matter if it writes or not. It could be something on a spaceship robot build. So uh, I 
least this isn't being too bad today. I'm kind of this way. I got a couple of stoves that I want to check out. A couple of little portable cooking stove type things. Uh, it's just so warm out now that that's kind of going to be on a, on a back burner, I think. Although, I may go ahead and do it either do an evening trip or do it in the evening or I'm going to be at my daughter's house for the next couple of weeks. So, she's got a nice porch. Actually, a nice front and rear porch. Which, okay, that didn't really sound right, but um, anyway, a nice back deck. Not even that. Uh, anyway, I may be doing something over there. Again, it really depends on the weather. Of course, later in the evening, when it cools down, you know, it's usually usually a lot nicer outside. Last night it was 85 degrees at two o'clock in the morning. So, I say usually. That's still, still pretty warm. But, it is what it is. Kind of looking forward to getting over here and uh, not having to watch anybody. I gotta keep an eye on the dogs and whatnot, make sure they're fed. But she's got a, a nice new outdoor griddle to play with, and the charcoal or the, the uh, uh, pellet stove, pellet grill, whatever. So I got a couple of ideas to do out there. We'll see whether or not they come to fruition. It might just be that I'm like. It's too hot to be out there. I'm not doing that. I'll go ahead and make it up at the house. But I'll make it up in the house. So just variations of, of on a theme, basically. Like I don't know. One one of the things I was thinking of was a, a sausage sandwich. Uh, we used to get sausage sandwiches at the boardwalk. And like. Granddad would make them up all the time using Italian hot sausage and then peppers and onions and a little tomato sauce. I was thinking about doing that, but doing a sausage patty. It's one of those things, another one of those things you see on the, on the, on the net, whether it's whether it be TikTok or uh, Facebook shorts. Excuse me. Facebook it's not Facebook shorts, YouTube shorts, Facebook, whatever it is. Anyway, I've seen a couple people do with sausage patties or smashed sausage patties. I don't know that I want to do a smashed, but they don't do they don't do uh, peppers, onions, and sauce. So we'll cross that bridge. See if you can see where it goes. I'm gonna try cheesesteak on that griddle too. Maybe do a maybe do hash browns. Put the cheesesteak in the middle, and then roll the roll the hash browns kind of like a kind of like a wrap or large torta, large tor tortilla. That would be interesting, I think. Anyway, like I said, just a lot of ideas kicking around in my head. Which ones will come out? I don't know. It's just, but it's just like taking all my craft supplies to my son's house. 
and then not using any of it, you know, because I get in, ensconced in the, in the TV or just, you know, other things happen or I'm just let the day pass by too quick. Get things accomplished that I would like to get accomplished. But this is why I've said numerous times in the past, I don't really make plans. You know, uh, okay. not not really like plans far in the future because you never know. Like for Father's Day, my uh, one nephew was supposed to come down. To visit, uh, well, not to visit. His work was sending him down here, and then he ended up tearing his ACL, and he's tied up, or laid up, and uh, had to send one of his his managers to fill in for him. So, I mean, that sucks. It sucks he hurt his ACL. It sucks that I didn't get to see him because I haven't seen him in probably three years. Maybe four. Excuse me. Oh, I'm trying to think. My mom's been gone just over two years. So, just over two years I haven't seen him. Same goes with my dad and my brother. So I may may take a trip in August for a week or so. I'll have to see what my finances say because it's going to take, it's going to take probably six tanks of fuel and at the prices I pay now that's $40 to $50 hours, uh, roughly for three quarters of the tank. So going to have to have at least 300 hours in gas, or 300 hours for gas. So we'll see. Might be easier to rent a car. Rent something small and good on gas. How long is this getting to be now? Oh, not too bad. I guess we're going to be right at 20 to 25 minutes by the time I get to get there. But um, I guess I'm going to go ahead and say that's all for today, folks. Let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs down or a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Wherever you all leave comments on your internet access device of choice. Like to share me around your social media, that'd be fantastic. If your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they ain't, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you're sick about them. Let them know you love them. We ain't promised tomorrow, people. We ain't promised our next breath. So I see y'all again. I hope you have a fantastic day. It's watching y'all. Yellow means stop.